We have spent our whole lives working toward this goal of retirement, and now we realize we've been on the wrong path the whole time. Yeah, I have had a massive aha moment. It actually started when we did our live stream a couple of weeks ago and we talked about is retirement a pipe dream and it completely changed my thought process around traditional retirement. So in this video, we're going to talk about why traditional retirement is a scam that kills you early and we're going to explain the new version of retirement that is not a pipe dream. Then we're going to share three tips and the five best places to retire. The traditional definition of retirement is that you work your whole life, you work really hard, you save as much money as you can and contribute to social security and pension plans or 401ks. We don't have pensions anymore. And then at some point you get to retire and you don't work anymore and you basically don't do anything. That's kind of the traditional definition of retirement that we have lived our whole lives like marching toward. But you know what, unconventionals? I don't want to go down that path. I don't want to end up being a retiree that just sits on the couch and does nothing. We know a lot of people that do exactly that. They worked in a job, they spent their whole career in this job, which they may or may not have liked, given the best years of their lives, ignored health issues, ignored their families, skipped their vacations, and then they retire and they have nothing else to do and they're unhappy and all they do is go to the doctor and watch TV and snack. They spent their whole lives working toward and looking forward to their golden years. And now they're telling us they feel more like rusted years. The funny thing is, is that you guys kept telling us all along, hey, you guys are retired, you're retired. And we were like, um, no, we're not, we're not retired. But you know what? Y'all were right because we are retired from the traditional workforce, especially JP. I am partially retired because I still have a traditional part-time job. Yeah, this has really been confusing us a lot because we get so many comments from people saying, well, it must be nice to be retired or I want to live your retired lifestyle or retire early like you did. And we're like, well, I don't understand that because we still work a lot but we don't work traditional jobs we're not in the traditional conventional workforce we don't commute to a cube and work for a boss we can't stand we call our own shots we work for ourselves and we're doing things that make us happy that are meaningful to us that things that we really enjoy doing so that is the new definition of retirement. And a lot of people figured this out even younger. We hear about people in their 30s who are retired because they've retired from the traditional workforce. And some of them do have enough money so that they don't have to work. But a lot of them, you know, they're in their 30s. So they're going out and reinventing themselves and living their passion. And that's so exciting. And we've met people from all age groups going down this road. And that's why we're just... I don't, I don't even know what to say. It's been such an emotional time to put all of this together and really wrap our heads around it. And I feel very liberated getting this all out. Yeah, we've been talking <laughs> about this for months and trying to understand why this traditional retirement didn't sit right with us because we don't actually plan on retiring mm -hmm. in that sense. And we think that this the new definition has kind of come about from a lot of the YouTubers and the FIRE movement, which stands for uh, Financial Independence Retire Early. And they're in their 30s or 40s and they're running YouTube channels with half a million subscribers talking about how much they love their retirement. Well, we're YouTubers. We know how much work goes into this. It's not a traditional retirement. And but they're kind of putting it out there that they're retired. Yeah. So people look at YouTubers like us and say, oh, it must be nice to be retired. Well, it is actually with this new definition of retirement, which means we do things we love to do instead of commuting to a cube to work a job that we hate that sucks the life out of us. And then by the time we're old enough to retire, we have no life left to live. This isn't just about retiring earlier. It's about living longer, having a more meaningful life, help being healthier and enjoying that retirement for a longer period. In Dan Buettner's famous book about the blue zones. He looked at five different areas around the world where people live a lot longer than average. And uh, there were nine things that really stood out, but one in particular was that these people have a purpose. They have a reason to get out of bed in the morning. 
and that keeps them going a lot longer. Some of them live well over 100 years old and they're still active and healthy. We know people from their 50s to their 80s who have completely reinvented themselves once they retired, whether that was pursuing a passion of theirs and turning that into a side business or a full-time business or volunteering or learning a new skill, going out there perfecting their golf game. There's so many things that people can do as long as they have a goal, and it's the same with us. It's also really good to have an active social circle. That's what Dan Butner found too, is that a lot of the people are, have, have a really active social life and they go out every afternoon and drink a glass of wine with their friends and do activities together. That's one of the great things about moving abroad is that it's kind of hard to make friends at home because you spent your whole life working and you don't really meet anybody. But once you move abroad, there's a lot of activities that expats do together or with the locals and you can meet more, meet people more easily, have more things to do. Like in Cuenca, I call Cuenca a cruise ship because there are so many activities and the food is great. So a lot of the expats go there and completely reinvent themselves. They get into a new social circle and they're busy all the time and they have a reason to get out of bed in the morning. We're gonna talk about the five best places to retire early later on this video. So make sure you stick around. So if you wanna live like we do, our freedom retire early lifestyle, we're gonna tell you about three things that you can start doing today that will make that happen more quickly and easily. Yes, and the first is to reduce your expenses. This is what we did. We went full minimalist. We sold all of our stuff and downsized into a little teeny tiny one bedroom apartment in Denver and just cut out as much cost as possible. Yeah, we even sold one of our cars and I just worked from home. So I just used an Uber or Amelia's car if she wasn't using it. Another really important thing to do is to skip the retail therapy. No more Amazon shopping. You do not need to buy all that crap, especially if you are going to move because you really don't wanna to have to bring all that stuff with you. Yeah, we know people who shop on Amazon and actually never open the boxes. Their basements and garages are full of unopened Amazon boxes. Oh, oh, what a gosh. waste of money that could be going toward your long-term savings so that you can retire early and do things that you love and not have to do jobs that you hate. Yeah, and the next thing you wanna do is reduce your debt. And you can do that by using the snowball method, which means you pay off the smallest debt first, and then you apply that money to the next debt, and so on and so on. That's what we did. We were able to get out of debt in three years. Yeah, we know a lot of people, we read about this online, who have paid off all their debt in a matter of years, and where they were thinking they would never pay it off before. But when you have that goal and you stop wasting money on impulse buys and midnight shopping online, then you have a lot more money to pay off that debt and you're not accumulating more. And it eventually just goes away and you feel this huge sense of relief. And a great way to do all of this is to move abroad like we did. Yes, it really drastically reduced our cost of living, our monthly expenses, and all of that extra money that we had, we applied to the debt, and that's why the, really the main reason we were able to pay it all off in three years. Yeah, and the retail therapy and the stuff, you just get rid of all that because instead you replace that with new experiences. Yeah, exciting life experiences rather yeah. than buying, clicking the buy now button. It's just, uh, it's really unfulfilling. You think it's gonna make you happy. It gives you a little endorphin rush when you do it, but then it's gone and you have yeah. to do it again. Life experiences, you have the memories, the photos, and the, the stories to tell, and it just keeps giving over and over again. Number two is to earn more money. And yeah, I'm sure some of you are thinking, okay, well, how am I supposed to do that? Well, start an online side hustle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the best way to earn extra income now is not to get another part-time job making minimum wage. It's to start doing something online. There's a whole lot of things that you can do online. I recommend going to fiverr.com and just looking through all of the services that people are offering and see if anything resonates with you. We have an online income e-course coming out soon. It's gonna go through a whole bunch, like everything you can possibly imagine, all of the opportunities at your disposal. But until that is ready, you can go on fiverr.com and just see if anything resonates and just post something and see if anybody buys it. The time to start on this is now. Do not wait, but you also need to be patient because it may take time for you to start making money. And it's also important to try a few different things. Yeah, it can take a lot of practice and patience. And once you do it for a while, you're gonna start building a reputation and people are gonna be coming back to you. If you're a good writer, that might be a really good thing to do because 
Writing never goes away. God, the internet needs so much of it. We hire writers. We have writers that we pay to write content for us. And we also have a video editor that helps us with our videos. So there's all kinds of things that you can do in your spare time mm -hmm. while you're still working your, your main job that will help you kind of transition away from that traditional workforce into an unconventional workforce. Number three is to save and invest. We are huge fans of the FIRE movement. It is part of the reason why we have been able to retire early, like we've been talking about. They encourage you to save as much as 50% of your income, either for long-term savings or to pay off that debt that we were talking about. Yeah, so you wanna max out your 401ks, your IRAs, invest in traditional things like ETFs. You might also wanna consider alternative investments, and that brings us to the sponsor of this video, Masterworks. A big part of retiring early and moving abroad is keeping your money working for you while you're out living your new retiree lifestyle, whether that's working, volunteering, or exploring your new home country. Even the big guys in the financial world, like Goldman Sachs, allocate 30 to 50% of their money to alternative assets. Things with low correlation to the typical investments like stocks. Alternative assets like contemporary art have a very low correlation to traditional investments. So when the value of stocks goes down, your art investments may not. The S&P 500 hit a two-year low yesterday, but the art market is doing even better than its pre-pandemic levels. Now, the average art piece is worth 26% more than this time last year. That's why Masterworks is seeing such a huge demand that they can't even keep up with it. They buy paintings from legendary artists like Picasso and Banksy and break them into shares for you to add to your portfolio. Then when the painting sells, you get your potential profit. Past performance is no guarantee of future results, but so far Masterworks has sold six paintings, returning a net average of 29% to their investors and they have over 530,000 investors on their platform. With stocks continuing to fall, Masterworks has such a high demand that they have a wait list, but they gave us a special link that allows you to skip the wait, so be sure to check the description for that. Now we're going to talk about the five best countries to retire according to World Population Review, and number five is Panama. So Panama has a pretty low cost of living, especially compared to the United States and Canada. There are a lot of expats who live there, especially in Boquete and the mountain town and David, those are beautiful areas. Yeah, and what's great about Panama is that it is close to the United States and it is on the dollar. Yeah, so you don't have to do any money conversions in your head. Many people also speak English, but Spanish is the official language, so you're gonna to wanna to learn some. Panama has good quality healthcare. They are ranked number 56 from CEO World. They have a six month tourist visa, and they also have a digital nomad visa that allows you to stay nine months. Plus you can get an extension and you just have to show 3,000 a month in income. They also have other visas available, including their retirement or their pensioner visa, in which you need to show $1,000 a month in income. Number four is Costa Rica. Costa Rica is known for Pura Vida or Pure Life, focused on a simple, healthy lifestyle. It is a nature lover's paradise. It's a great location in Central America between the Pacific and the Caribbean coast, and it's a pretty quick flight from the U.S. And there's beautiful mountains and there's beaches and incredible wildlife. They have a relaxed lifestyle, but there's still a lot of things to do. It's really popular with expats. And Costa Rica also has good health care. They are rated number 50 by CEO World. They also have several visa options available, including a digital nomad visa. The pensioner visa has a $1,000 a month income requirement and you can get permanent residency after three years. Number three should be no surprise, and that is Mexico. Mexico was rated number one for expats in a recent internation survey. We just talked about them in our last video. So whether you're retired or not, Mexico is a great choice because there is so much more than just beaches. Yeah, there's a lot of colonial cities in the mountains in central Mexico. A lot of people overlook that part of the country. They just think about the fancy, all-inclusive resorts on those white sand beaches. Mexico has a lot of expat communities, and what's great about it is that it is so close to the United States and Canada. It also has really good health care, rated number 29 by CEO World, which is better than the United States at 30. 
Mexico does not have a digital nomad visa, but they do have other visas available. So chances are very good you will find the right fit for you. Number two is our favorite, and that is Ecuador. We think Ecuador should be number one on all the lists, <laughs> but we may be a little biased because we love Ecuador. This country is incredible. There is just so much to experience, and the people are amazing. This is a birder's paradise. If you like watching birds, bird watching, you're gonna find your heaven here. Yeah, but you could also go hiking, you could go chillax on the beach, you could go enjoy all the fruits and vegetables you can buy in the mercados, work on your Spanish, there's so much. <laughs> there's also the Galapagos Islands, the birthplace of Darwin's theory of evolution, and the Amazon, where they just discovered some new snakes and frogs that you're gonna wanna avoid. Ecuador has been popular with expats for a long time and retirees as well. And Ecuador is on the dollar, so another great thing. It makes life a lot easier when you do not have to convert your currency. Yeah, and also those dollars go a lot further. In Ecuador, the cost of living here is about one third compared to the United States. Some things are even less. Ecuador's digital nomad visa, even though we've been talking for a while, it actually became official in September. And the income requirement for that is $12.75 a month, but you can convert that into a permanent residency visa. So it is a great option if you're not ready to go for one of the many other visas that they have. Yeah, there are a lot of visa options available for Ecuador. Ecuador loves us expats and they make it really easy for us to move here. And number one on the list is Malaysia. Malaysia is extremely well-developed, has a really solid infrastructure, and according to Preply's Global Expat Index, Kuala Lumpur was just voted the best city for expats in 2022. Yeah, a lot of you have been telling us Malaysia is the place to go because it is so affordable. There's also so much to do. There's a lot of history. They have beautiful scenery and very high quality health care. It was rated number 34 by CEO World. Malaysia has a new digital nomad visa that's good for 12 months and you can extend it for another 12 months. You have to show that you have $24,000 a year in income. Yeah, and they also have a 10 year and a new 20 year visa. So you do have a variety of options in Malaysia. If you guys enjoyed this video, we think you're gonna like that one too. It is never too early or too late to start working on your retirement. You just gotta figure out what you wanna do and do it. Yep. Yeah. All right, guys, <laughs> leave us a like before you go and we will see you all in our next video. Ciao. Ciao.